All right, guys, this is a different kind of challenge. This is a pumpkin carving fall festival extravaganza challenge. What do you need? You need one cool pumpkin with an awesome stem. Look at that sucker. Got it from Publix. Looks beautiful, don't it? And if you're a regular viewer, you know where I am. So I have a special guest today who's doing the pumpkin carving with me. None other than my sweet, loving mother. We call her Nanny. Everybody calls her Nanny. I call her Mom. Sometimes I say, hey, what's up? And I just call her on the phone. But <laughs> we're back by popular demand. She's one of the popular guests on this Brainstorm Challenges channel. So let's get into some fun fall festival pumpkin carving. I have no idea. We're not going to do a regular jack-o'-lantern, guys. We may. Who knows? We're going to do whatever this pumpkin leads us to do. It has a mind of its own, so we'll see what it wants to do. Enjoy, and let's go on for the journey, guys. It's your own fault, because you're so wishy-washy. It's a great pumpkin. He's rising up out of the pumpkin patch. Hi, folks. Brainstorm here. Welcome to Brainstorm Challenges. We have a special guest who's running away from me now. She's got to turn some air on. We're going to come on over here, Nanny. You can hold on. She's been a little, she's worked herself silly already this morning. Uh, Crack of dawn. Yeah, I have been up early. You have been up early. It was a pretty pumpkin, Yeah. So, I don't want to do anything typical. We're just going to do whatever the pumpkin leads. You ever carved a pumpkin before? No. Nope. No? <laughs> All right. First thing we got to do is I want to, uh, we got to get the guts out, I think. We get to cut a circle, so I'd like to do a lot. Yeah. But this challenge is not really a challenge, it's just a fun show-offs in the show-offs group. If y'all want to do this, call it a challenge. It's just get a partner. You won't get one as cute as the one I got right there. Uh -huh. There's a the camera looking there and saying, hi yeah. everybody. Oh. <laughs> get you a partner and then carve up a pumpkin. Do something unusual. Do something traditional, whatever. Not <clears throat> We're going to cut a square. Now, have you ever cooked any kind of pumpkin uh, pies or anything like that? Not really. Well, they all cook pumpkin pies. Not from a real pumpkin, though, have you? No. This one might not be long enough. No, I got, I got this cleaver here. Just a sweet potato pie. No. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, there, there we go. Got that, got that stringies. Yeah, I gotta get that stuff off of that. We're gonna keep those seeds. Put them in that pan. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these up. Ooh, that smells good. Uh, keep the seeds and like dry it out maybe. And uh, see if we can. I don't know if pumpkins will grow what time of the year. I'll have to look into that. It's too late now, I think. Well, yeah, it's probably too late now. We can dry them out and put them in the freezer and they'll keep. Yeah, you can post them and eat them too, probably. Check this out. There ain't too much in there, are they? No, there's not a whole lot. You'd think that it would be. Let's see, that goes off like that. All right, we're going to put that aside. We're going to show everybody what it looks like on the inside. Yeah. It's like a spider web of cavernous pumpkin guts. The best way to do it is just reach in there and grab it with your hand, I think. Yeah. Big seed. Uh, a big seed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look at that. Making a mess. Uh, we'll clean it up though. Alright, I want to see you do that. Will you reach in there and grab some of that? Uh, Indulge me for a minute. I bet you've gutted a few chickens like this in your time or uh, all sorts of things, huh? Ooh, those are big seeds, yeah. That's all big seeds. I've seen a lot of things people do with the toasting the seeds and the Making the, I don't, I guess you could cut up the pulp. Uh, I don't know how you would, what you would do to get a this real pumpkin. This is the first time me ever doing this part. I know that's why I wanted to share this with you. This is a great <laughs> memory. You know, I've never, I never remember us uh, ever doing something like this. We didn't ever go no pumpkins. No, I never, I didn't even, you know, something that you saw on TV or in the movies, but you never. Yeah, I've seen never, them doing it, but I never done it. Is pumpkin, like pumpkin flavoring, something that you like? Is that something that you 
dislike or like her, you know? I like Pocket Flavor, yeah. You know, all the viewers on my channel like to all those videos that you make with me, and they keep asking me when I'm going to do another one with you, so I thought this is a perfect opportunity. Fall is a really pretty time of the year. Pecans start falling, the leaves start falling, and the color is changing. Yeah. It's my favorite time of the year. That's why I was here this morning, there was raking leaves away for yeah. the building the trees with that one 80, 83 years old, and raking leaves at 6 a.m. <laughs> it's a lot cooler in the morning, ain't it? You I'm said it's not right open. I said we can't do it. You know, I got to look at my. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna yeah. use this. You know what that limb mm -hmm. is out there on that tree cut short? Big on what? tree. Really? Are I you? was pulling up some weeds. Darn! I come up my head, my head on that limb. Well, dang! Now you got a big old red spot I on said, your head. I said, well, boy, it wasn't bleeding. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised it'll knock you down. I told you, I'm, not, I'm trying to get it all the rest of the way off. You can't take hits like that when you're at your age. You know. I fell on one sitting at the floor. I, mean, I swear, your generation of your generation, they are hardworking, um, easy go lucky, lucky people. I've seen a lot of things over the years, haven't you? But God got me for a reason, now. He got you for a reason, that's for sure. I'm glad. I don't think I'll make it to 80. Not upright, anyway. I'm all right. Technology might come a long way. Somebody will get it. So that's the pumpkin guts. Ooh, look at the pumpkin guts. Pumpkin guts. What you think, Nanny? We got one hole here. Let's make a. Let's see if we can make a, another design. Like I said, I wasn't really caring about whether we do a face like a lot of people do. I just want to do design. Yeah. Well, I could put a candle in it and see what it looks like. Uh -huh. You want to make one? You feel up to doing that? I'll try. I'll help you. Well, you want it like that. I don't matter. Wherever you want to make it up. That's a good, that's a good spot. You, you cut up a few things in your life, haven't you, with knives? <laughs> yeah, but... What's the, the secret to a good knife is to keep it sharp, ain't it? Yeah. They think so. Uh, all right, come on out. There we go. It started to come out, didn't it? Make it a little bigger than y'all do. Yep. I want to try something. I want to try this. It probably tastes better cooked. It's not bad though. It's kind of like a pear, actually. Yeah. Like a plain pear. Mine's all coming out because I'm taking that cancer medicine. Yeah, it's kind of sweet, actually, after a minute or two. That pulp beef. Put you. Put you one right there. See if you can cut one right there. A round one? Yeah, see if we can cut a round one. I don't know. Well, I can't knock knife don't, don't turn. Or good. square. Huh? <laughs> Square's fine too. I said it don't want to turn in there. It's lost. My partner's going to have a lot of eyes on it. <laughs> He's going to be able to see in all directions. 360 degrees. There we go. There you go. I like that. You know, um, Halloween gets a bad rap, I think, sometimes for um, being, you know, dark and demonic. But I think you, it's all on how you approach it. Yeah. And uh, it could be a fall, time of fall giving and just a celebration. And family and the harvest of the year. Let's see if I can make a cross. Wouldn't that be cool? All holidays are traditionally pagan holidays until you yeah. repurpose them. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. One day at a time.
One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking of you. Show me the stairway. Show me the way. Lord, what do I say? Teach me to take one day at a time. One day at a time. He has taught me how to take one day at a time, too. Yes, ma'am. I hear that. Why not only have a face or a scary jack o' lantern? Why not carve a bunch of different things? Ugh. There we go. <laughs> There's my, my, my face. Uh, my favorite thing I carved though. This is awesome. Cross here. My mom had breast cancer when she turned 80, of all things. Battled COVID last year, took it out too. Pretty tough lady, you know that. Well, they told me, it says, uh, I don't know what to do when you're 80 years old. I said, do whatever you got to do. God, I trust him and God do your hands. said, brother, let's go to it. I'll come back and I'll come home the next day. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I was gonna see if you wanna try it. You wanna you wanna try a pumpkin? I bet you never first time in eighty something years you've ever tried raw pumpkin, I'm sure. Not too bad, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no way. I really appreciate you having these let me come over and mess around mm -hmm. with you like this. This is a sweet lady right here. Mm -hmm. You have any special advice for us? To tell people just to get along and yeah, love the get Lord. Get along or not, I can't. I got some bought these, but I lost a bunch of weight. They won't shrink. They won't fit. Uh -uh. You, you, I told you, keep shrinking. Don't fit. You're shrinking every day. I see you. You're smaller. So, I got a lot of crazy designs. Okay, the these are nannies. Where's the camera at? I don't know. I got some got a cross. And somewhere, we got a sardonic. Jack o' lantern face. He looks kind of like he heard a good joke or bad joke, whatever. Where he probably listens to Corey's channel, Corey's comedy channel. So I hope you're out there, you check out Bill's now. Yeah, Sarah, that's your, your granddaughter, my niece. You got to. Uh, she seen me making biscuits. Oh, she said, she has, I'm missing biscuits. Those are some good biscuits. I just <laughs> had one actually. That's another good reason to come see Nanny. <coughs> If you haven't seen that biscuit making video, we also made salmon patties on that video, so I'll leave that this link up here for y'all to see that. that. Paper. Paper Found us a candle. We're gonna take care of it. So that's what it looked down with the candle down below. All cleaned out. That's kind of pretty, don't it? <laughs> All right. Let's put the lid back on. <laughs> it looks pretty good, actually, for uh, somebody didn't know what they were doing. Definitely a car pumpkin. If it was darker, you'd show it up a lot better. It is cute, isn't it? I like it. <laughs> I like that. It's different. Yeah, we did. We did a good job. I had so much fun doing that. It looks a lot different <laughs> with all the holes in it. We even put a cross on it. See, that's cool. That's cross. Like a cross. Yeah. Wait, did you have a good time, Nanny? Yeah. Enjoyed that. It's first time. Yeah, it's first time for a lot of things, right? But that's what it's all about. That's what my channel's all about. Just doing new things and having fun. And mm -hmm. I enjoy making these memories with you because that's going to last a lifetime for me. So uh, I want to. We want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and. 
Happy holidays and good wishes. You want to say anything before we head on out? Yeah, I've got a birthday coming up October 17th this month. You're going to be what, 84? Three. 83. I messed up on that. Yeah, y'all have a great day. Take time to be with your family and love them as much as you can and let them know if you can't be there all the time. Let them know you love them and that never take it for granted. I tell you, each and every day is a blessing from God. Whether you're pumpkin carving or eating donuts, you know, it's a good day that the Lord has made. So y'all have a great day. God bless you. Amen. Amen. See you next time. God. Like, comment, and subscribe. There we go. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. Each year the great pumpkin rises out of the pumpkin patch that he thinks is the most sincere. He's got to pick this one. He's got to. I don't see how a pumpkin patch could be more sincere than this one. You can look all around and there's not a sign of hypocrisy. Nothing but sincerity as far as the eye can see.